Today on Yoda's Spirit, I'm going to go over this Star Wars jewelry. This is a ring I purchased off of Amazon. This cost me only about $15. It's got the magnetic connector right here and right here. So it has a nice little hold grip, tight, closed. And it's got the Star Wars logo everywhere. You see one here, 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 it's three. And you got one here, four. And then you got one here, five. And then, of course, you got the one on the very bottom with the StarWars.com, where you can probably find another one. This is the size 10. It's very cool. You can just slide it out right here. And then you just simply push one side up on the paper. And then you can slide the bottom part of the ring out. And there we go. There is a total of... I'm counting one, two, three, four, five... Little bling bling crystal things. We have a black one here for like the main... This is the main front face right here of the ring. R2D2. Boop, 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 boop. And then we have the... Like this is his this camera. is black little blinged out crystal here and then we have a red ruby looking one here and then you got a really small diamond looking one here it's really cool it's kind of has that um rough earthly look to it it's supposed to be sterling silver I'm not for sure it didn't say sterling silver anywhere And on the back here we have a larger diamond looking size bling bling crystal thing. And then we got a very small one right here. There is nothing up top there. But each one of these is like a little cool, um, it's not quite painted on. It has some kind of um, shiny texture to it. It's, um, it's smooth compared to the rest of the ring. The ring, you can feel the metal, but this is like some blue. It's almost like they're implanted into the actual ring, which is really cool because it doesn't look like it's painted on at all. It's really smooth. They're like extra jewelry things encased in little blue jewelry thingies. Unless it's the type of uh, paint texture that's just really glossy and smooth. But that's really cool. I like it. It's all shiny. And then it's got the sides. A lot of detail in this ring. It is, um, definitely has the worn textured look to it. They give it the weathered look I'm looking for. Um, you can put your hand inside, so it's hollow. It's not really heavy. It has it has a little weight to it, but it's not super heavy. It's like a really good size, a good um, weight to it for its size. It's really cool. I just definitely suggest going on Amazon, checking one out, and see if, uh, if there's still any available. Size 10. Uh, as you can see, I have fairly regular size hands, and it fits me nice and um, fits this hand really good my middle finger and then as well as my ring finger and my index finger it fits really kind of tight on my index um, my pointer finger but yeah it's really cool um, normally if it says stainless steel let's compare it to this other version here I have a Darth Vader version it's on another video if you want to check that out but there is a stainless steel symbol inside the box. On this version, there is not one. So just wanted to let you know that. But if you are an R2-D2 fan, definitely suggest uh, getting one of these rings. And until next time, please subscribe. And may the Force be with you.